Marty Fish, thank you for joining us on USTA.com. Unfortunately, it's it's not uh, to uh, to speak about a win, but an incredible match. Even though you did lose, can you talk about it? Uh, the match you just played against Ivan Lubitsch, ten eight in the fifth, must be heartbreaking. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. It's uh, um, it was a great match. I mean, you know, win or lose, obviously uh, you'll take some positives from that. He's a great player. Um, he's been in the semifinals here at the French Open before, so. Um, it's certainly not a bad loss uh, and, and, and tough to swallow um, right away. How long does it take you to get over a result like this? I mean, when you, when you do come so close? Um, well, you, you don't have a choice. Um, you know, Queens is my next event, singles wise. So I'll, I'll stick around hopefully and, and play some dubs and, and uh, uh, here at the French. And, and um, you know, you got to put it behind you as best you can. And, and this is not my. Uh, first type match that I've lost, so I'll, I'll be fine. You've played a couple of outstanding matches here at the French. You've been here in Paris for quite some time with Andy Roddick. How much of that uh, work that you did with Andy on the courts over here leading into the French really has been a contributing factor to the way you've been hitting the ball here? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's uh, we had a great groove. Um, it's been a good three weeks. Uh, um, I haven't uh, put a ton of clay on my schedule this year, uh, part of it because of injury and part uh, uh, just sort of trying to gear, uh, you know, gear my year towards what's coming up, which is the grass and the hard court season in the U.S., uh, which is my best uh, best time of the year and, and my favorite time of the year. So it's, uh, uh, we, we had a great groove. Um, we put a ton of work in. Um, I certainly felt it on the court as far as, uh, uh, you know the way that I felt and, and the way that I was moving, and, and I, I certainly could could tell uh, the the work that we put in. You touched on positives, uh, the word positives, a few moments ago. What do you take out of this effort? Well, just I mean, you, you know, p playing a match like that on a clay court in a Grand Slam, um, uh, feeling physically feel physically uh, in a spot where I've never been before. Um, you know, being able to last 10-8, uh, uh, still feeling relatively fresh, um, is certainly a positive. You know, I've I've beaten him before in a Grand Slam, so to to say, you know, to play close with with him is 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 uh, you know probably not a positive, but uh, uh, you know, again, he's he's no slouch. He's been uh, he's been top five in the world for a while. Well, they've often said that you know you perform on clay and you work hard on clay, it's going to pay dividends on the other surfaces. Do you mm. believe that? Um, well, I'm not sure. This is uh, by far the best I've ever played on this surface. Um, certainly had chances to, to make the third round, which I've never done here. Um, uh, then again, I've never, you know, I've never uh, felt like this physically. So, you know, it's sort of a bummer to, uh, to go out that way. It's uh, tough to swallow that... Uh, you know, I just I get to go home with just a second round loss after all that work. Well, there's uh, the grass coming up, as you were just saying, more to your liking and something you'll feel more at home at, and we wish you good luck with that. Thanks, Marty, for joining us on USTA.com. Thank you.